Welcome to Neo4j. I'm Andreas Colliger. In the next two minutes, I'll show you how to build a recommendation engine using Neo4j. We'll use the example MovieGraph. If we go here onto the second part of the guide, we'll see that there's a giant query that creates the graph. If we just play that, it runs and returns our favorite movie, The Matrix. Of course, this is a movie, so we can find actors as well. Here's an example of finding Tom Hanks, just finding a single node where the name is Tom Hanks. There he is. A step further, we can look at these other queries and see that we can get Tom Hanks' movies. There's this Tom where he acted in some movies. If we run that, we get Tom and all the movies he's acted in. Now that's starting to look like a graph. How about we extend this co-actor query into a recommendation for actors that Tom hasn't worked with yet? We'll take the same query and we'll mimic the pattern, but instead we'll go from the co-actors that they acted in a second set of movies, and then find other actors that acted in that movie, and we'll call those the, the co-co-actors. And then we'll say where Tom has not acted in that second set of movies. So where not Tom acted in the uh, M2s that we've got there. And then we'll return the co-co-actors. So Tom Hanks has never worked with Tom Cruise. That's interesting. We, we can change this query actually to find out who then they actually have in common so that maybe the two Toms can work together. Uh, at the end of the query, we'll change. We're looking for, you know, now Tom Cruise is a person where, okay, so his name is Tom Cruise. And then instead of returning, you know, these actor names, we want to find, uh, you know, all the movies that are in between the two Toms. So we'll return Tom, his movies, the co-actors in between them, their movies, and then of course, Tom Cruise. We find multiple Bacon paths, and if we look, there's Kevin Bacon himself. With only a few lines of cipher, we've created two recommendation algorithms, who you should know and how you can get to know them. Now it's your turn. Go to new4j.org, download New4j, then start making your own graphs.